Well, this is the Rainier Days Parade in 2014, and this is the 12th of July, 2014. This is the color guard from the VFW. That old glory there. Looks like the parade is officially underway. This is the Grand Marshals there in a classy Mustang convertible. It's um, Brady's, I believe their name is. Yeah, Mel and Margaret Brady. So there are Grand Marshals for this year. And the Beaver Homes Grange coming along here. It's a Grange Hall out in the Goble area, downtown Equatorial South Goble. How you doing, Marcia? Hundred years old, still going strong. There you go. <laughs> Got some straggler marchers here, I guess, of some kind or another. And here's Rainier's finest, one of their newer police cars. I guess he wasn't. He was a baby kids party. Here's Mayor Jerry Cole in his classic Cam Camaro. Jerry's been the mayor for, guys, I can't remember how long, quite a, several terms anyway. And he's got his daughters there in the in the car with him. Don't see Christy though, his wife. I don't see her around. And here's Miss Oregon. And here's, I can remember, it's the first time we've ever had Miss Oregon in the in their Rainier days. I like it. Class the old about a 47 or 48 Plymouth, if I remember right. Ford Fairlane, kind of the intermediate car for the year 67. That's when cars were still cars. It has a 390 engine in it. That one get out and move pretty good. Got some little ones in that bunch. Throw a couple of them back and let them grow a little more. And this is Betsy Johnson, our state senator. Betsy's done, done an awesome job for Columbia County. She does a great job for for Columbia County, and gotta keep her on the keep her on the list. Pretty good, Betsy. And we got some riders here. I'm not sure who they are. Girls on horses, anyway. It's the Columbia County Rodeo Court. I thought there was three of them, but I only see two. I don't know. No, they're there. She's still up the street here a little ways. The third one coming on up the street here.
There's all three of them. <laughs> Well, this is Luigi's Pizza Parlor here in town. We have two pizza parlors about a block apart. This is the older one of the two. Luigi's up on the corner of First and B. Looks like the sun's going to come out a little bit here. I see they got the emission control specialist there right behind the horses. Couch Black Bears, I believe that's a baseball team of some kind or another. And here's Class and I Power, one of their line trucks. Class and I Power does an awesome job. We get good service, excellent service, and excellent rates. We only pay about three cents a kilowatt hour for for our electric power. The Tornado's girls fast pitch softball team looks like. Not sure who this group is. Got the Masubaru of some kind or another, but beyond that, I don't know who Sandblaster United Way is, so I have no idea. Bud Clary is an auto dealer over in Longview. And here's the Columbia County Dairy Women. They have a dairy princess here in the county. And they got her on the float coming up here. I'm not sure who it is, but we'll have to find out when the float gets here. Terry McGettigan, she was she's back again. Oh, I'll be darned, she was Dairy Princess a couple years ago. They must have recycled her a little bit. I've met her several times. She's been in the house a time or two. So yeah, I know Terry pretty well. This is Columbia River PUD. This is a, the other light company that's kind of south and east of town here, but not in Rainier itself. They're out. They got higher price rates than Plastic Power. We're on Plastic Power. We've been on Plastic Power for a number of years. We got rid of Public's Greatest Expense, or actually they got rid of us. They did. They wanted to stop service to Rainier. The Plastic Power bought up the PGE system here in town. And, it's much better than it used to be. There's one of our local judges, uh, Jean Marquick, Marquick, something like that. She's she's kind of a new judge. She was just elected this last time around. This is Sunnyside. Looks like daycare. A bunch of little kids on there anyway. They got a horse there doing doing a Halloween costume as a zebra. I'm not sure what these guys are. Looks like a bunch of pirates to me anyway. Bumblebee towing. That's kind of a novel idea, a way to advertise your tow business. I hope their rates aren't real higher they would really be would, would be pirates.
RHS girls softball team from high school, hey, state champs this year. And last year from the way the science is, so the girls have been doing a pretty good job. Don't have any kids in school anymore though. So. Haven't been up to high school in years. Plastic horse here on this one. Need somebody riding up there. <laughs> Not sure who these girls are here. We don't. See any sign on anything, whether they're Klatskanite A's or, or what they're from. And the local Boy Scout troop. Got old Glory there. Wayne Mayo, he's a business owner, does construction, remodeling, and that sort of thing. He's been trying to run for city, or not for city, but for county commission for a couple of times. Hasn't made it. And here's our transit system, Dial-A-Ride, Columbia County Rider. Not sure what this operation is here. Cover Oregon, that was a disaster. <laughs> this is Wayne Mayo here. Thank you for Yeah. And this guy on the red tractor is Henry Heimmuller. He's one of our present county commissioners out, out of St. Helens. I think they're all up for re-election this year. They're all getting the runs here, so they're all out stumping for votes here. And this is the Rainier Church of God. They got their vacation Bible school. It's June 16 to 20. Well, that's kind of come and gone. Cause this is the 12th of July. comes a bunch of Poppin' Johnnies. There's a John Deere tractor. They got the name Poppin' Johnny from the way they backfire when they're running. So you'll probably hear some of that in this bunch here. back on the track.
Not sure what kind of a limousine this is. I think it might be a Jaguar from the looks of the owner. Or got his auxiliary there in the back. If he runs out of gas, he's got his bicycle there. Credit Union, which is the only financial institution we have left here in town. Bank of America abandoned us a couple years ago. So the credit union is it. And right behind them, right here, is Mrs. Cooney and her kids and grandkids. I've known Mrs. Cooney and her kids for years and years and years. Some of the kids, I remember them as babies and little kids, which is a scary thought. I remember these 30-year-olds as babies and little kids. That kind of dates things a little bit. I think this one here with the apron on there, I think she was the kid that forgot her skates in the city park one time, and that's how I met Cooney's, I found the skates and got them back to her. Now, that's been a long time ago, she was a little girl then, she's all, all growed up now. These are the Rainier High School cheerleaders. And this is the other pizza parlor in town, Hometown Pizza. They're kind of right behind me and down on the next block. Sloan Nelson and his troops anyway. This is the My Fair Lady Court. I don't know where the rest of them are. There's actually five of them, but there's a Rachel Kelly. She's the the lady from Rainier. You can see her right there under her red umbrella. This is the 
El Tapatio, this is our Mexican restaurant. If you eat some tacos and enchiladas, they're a pretty good place to go. You do a good job. Get a hankering for tacos or so, that's where I go. music on this one too. Like it might have been a Chevelle of some kind or been kind of reworked a little bit. License plate says.